It's Monday, August 24th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Al-Qaeda seized key parts of Yemen's port city Aden over the weekend. Militants bombed the main intelligence building in the western district near the entrance to the port. Residents said dozens of Al-Qaeda members could be seen patrolling the streets with their weapons. It's another sign the radical Islamic group is gaining strength and territory in the country after five months of civil war. North and South Korean officials have met to defuse tensions between their two countries. Relations had worsened after two South Korean soldiers were wounded by landmines. Seoul began broadcasting anti-Pyongyang propaganda in retaliation. Residents said they were hopeful the situation would calm down so their lives could go back to normal. The talks between the North and South are at the highest level in nearly a year. Police in eastern Germany have clashed with right-wing protesters who are angry over the arrival of asylum seekers. More than 30 police officers were hurt in scuffles with about 600 protesters on Saturday. The country's interior minister has called for a crackdown on right-wing militants and racists. Germany expects the number of refugees to reach 800,000 people this year, or nearly 1% of the country's population. Zero. <laughs> Brazil has opened the largest environmental observation tower in Latin America. The 1,000-foot-tall structure allows scientists to monitor the effects of climate change on the Amazon jungle. The tower will collect data on greenhouse gas emissions and air particles. It's the result of a partnership between German and Brazilian universities and took about seven years to build. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Però purtroppo esiste il problema occupazionale e quindi là incomincia il vero dramma, il vero problema. Les Italiens refusent de nous donner sa main au chaud dans la tête directement. On risque de tomber sur les gens, prendre le téléphone des gens, porte-monnaie des gens, sac à main des gens, parce qu'on n'a rien.